Alrighty, YouTube. This is just a little video for those people who are interested. I did make a video here about, I don't know, maybe a month ago, about the doorbell wiring up here. This is something a little different. I got my flashlights here, that big light up there. Today I, I kind of was exploring up here in the attic. You know, just because I have nothing better to do, so let me come up here. Oops, that thing is magnetic. It's holding onto that junction box. Whoa, and there it goes. So I was kind of looking out the opening right there. So right there's the old light. As you can see, it is a light blaster, an all-trade light blaster model, 775-L-25. Pretty interesting. There's that view. That's kind of creepy. There's these, which are actually pieces of the uh, trim that goes up here in the attic, so you can kind of see right there. It's the trim. So I don't know why the previous owner of the house had these up here. There's a package right there. Connects two coaxial cables. Oh, that's one of those cable connectors. Uh, there doesn't seem to be that much up here. See over there? There's the chimney. See back there, looking back. There's the opening where I came in. Back there, there's a box. These are our storage area. There's some like clothes in there. Don't know exactly what's in there. There's a big wood beam. And down over there. And then over there, this is where it gets a little creepy. There's the uh, there's a little package there for a Leviton switch. There's a carpet right there, which I, or a little rug, which I've never seen. I'm guessing the previous owner left that. I'm not going to do anything about that. But there are these little blue things all over. See, there's another one right there. Yeah, this is, it's kind of creepy. These little blue things, there's just like, there's no mark on them or anything. There's the sewage, sewer thing right there, goes through the wall. Uh, there's our big old attic fan, which I was actually originally up here to show you all. Oop, this wood beam right here is loose. The, this isn't actually a beam. Uh, let's see. It is a Montgomery Ward fan. It doesn't say the model number on here. It just says, like, plant number two Montgomery Ward listed fan. Oh, article number. Let's see the article number. Is 44790. And as you can see, it has pretty big blades. Well, not very big. Let's see if there's any markings on the other side. Nope, no markings. Um, motor. Any markings on the motor? Nope. Here's the thermostat. As you can see, that one has a cardboard. A ring around it and that one doesn't. don't know if that used to have a cardboard ring and it fell off or something. I don't see it up here or anything. Um, there's another piece of that packaging right there and that LED light that I have shining. There's some pretty old boxes. There's an old Harriet Carter box right there and there's like a Christmas gift box right there. Um, yeah, this is kind of creepy. Like that is, that is enough to give me nightmares. Right there, let's see down that way. Once again, there's the chimney. Sorry, I'm just like shaking right now, I'm scared. Um, but yeah, this wood is loose right here, it's not fixed. There's a big hunk of insulation right here that I'm trying to get around. And the roof has nails, uh, if you thought that it couldn't get even more creepier, the, uh, there are nails poking in from the roof. Looks like this board was, this, uh, plywood board was replaced at one time because as you can see it's lighter it looks newer these are the original plywood boards and the beams and what's even more odd is that as you can see there is well, this insulation pieces uh, see there's like holes that have been gouged out in the siding the side that little uh, vent window up see in the backyard out there. Let's see. There's like a, the siding right there. 
and then there's like the, all the pieces that have been gouged out are just like down here on the floor so there's not really not that much up here I don't expect to see anything really oh I'm stepping on a cable oh yeah so then the vent the fan cables goes from the fan to this junction box where the thermostat is, which turns it on when it gets to the highest. I've always wondered how this uh, turns on and off automatically when it gets to the high temperature. Uh, it When the temperatures reach high enough here, it uh, kicks on the uh, fan. This uh, thermostat here kicks on the fan. And there's actually a switch down there in the attic room, which I'll show you, that turns it on and off. You can turn it on and off. But you can't have it just like on all the time. It's always it's either off or automatic. Once again, there's the label Montgomery Ward. The blaze it makes a sound when I spin it. There are no oil ports, so I was, actually came up here to see if I could oil it. So I guess it doesn't require any maintenance. Yeah, this fan's original to the house. I like it a lot. It works. Oh, let's go back this way. These old beams are, we'll see, there's the other side of the light, let's see, is it, it is halogen. I always wondered that. And then I see something peculiar over there. Like it's kind of blinding me. It's like a shiny, do you see it? Yep. Yeah. I'm stepping on this, the uh, bar or anything. I tried to come up here to see if I could see anything. There's the doorbell wire that goes along there. It goes down. I'm guessing that one goes down to the transformer. And there's the outlet that the smoke detector is plugged into. And this light is plugged into the, the Honeywell smoke detector. Oh, which actually is not even being used anymore. What is this? What's this? Hmm. Found something. I don't know what this is. Oh, and there's the how they get the. Oh, it's one of these pieces of a, a bracket that you stick in the wall and then you go like, goes out like that. You it uh, springs out like that. Mm, I have no use for anything like that. I don't know what that is. Looks like it might be a part of a cable. Here's a piece at the bottom of the insulation. We're going to definitely need to get the insulation replaced. There's a whole spot right here where there's no insulation. And back there, back there, there's no insulation all the way back there, which is... Oh, there's a bar right there, which actually, you can sort of see that metal bar, which is for my sister's ceiling fan. Hampton Bay Gazebo, and that goes right over here. And there's also a, probably another one for my ceiling fan and for my mom's. But, as you can see, it's basically like a wasteland up here. I mean, there's like nothing. Except for that big, all these boxes around the opening. My mom put stuff up here shortly after we moved in. They haven't been touched. Also, there's a piece of newspaper. They're not newspaper, wallpaper. I don't know if you can see where it is. I saw it like a minute ago. Where is it? Uh, wallpaper piece of, um, well, I don't know where it is now, but, oh, there it is, it's back there. It's a piece of wallpaper, the old wallpaper that we used to have at our house before we took it out because it was ugly. Okay, I'm stepping on cables right now. Okay, so... These are the attic the attic room lights. So like if I un if I were to unplug that, one of these sets of lights would go out. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a cable for something, probably for my sister's outlets and things like that. Let me get the insulation off my feet. So that is it for the great attic scavenge. Oh.